Hey everybody, welcome to another segment of A Dude Talking About Film. I'm a dude talking about film and I use regular language. I almost like coughed while I was saying that. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing The Way Back. I just saw this on HBO Max, by the way. If you like what you see in here, please subscribe. I'm on TikTok and I'm on YouTube. Or as they say in Spanish, YouTube. Anyways, I don't know if they say that in Spanish. This film starred Ben Affleck and Al Madrigal, who I knew looked familiar when I watched this, but uh, he was he's on The Daily Show and has done stuff on that uh, show, and I, I just have never really seen him before, but he played a very small role, significant but small role. And this film was um, interesting. It's a kind of throwback uh, plot that's been done over and over and over that has to do with a person's alcoholism, and in this case like a former basketball stud in high school, but then he comes back and he's, you know, kind of underachieving, struggling with the bottle. That's Ben Affleck's character, by the way, Jack Cunningham. And he gets an opportunity to coach at the Catholic high school, the team that he was a star at. And apparently in the narrative, the writing, he could have been this great basketball player, but he chose not to, yada, yada, yada. Look, here's the bottom line. It's been done before. At least it was a good attempt at telling a story about real people. Not any of this superhero crap or sensationalized sexual content or violent content, but a story. Now, unfortunately, this film got released during the uh, high time of COVID, the high activity where it, you know, blocked its distribution. So... Worldwide, it made roughly 15500000 had a budget in the uh, early, low $20 million category, $23 million. So it's considered a failure. Now, maybe this film will get some legs and do more in the box office. But according to Box Office Mojo, it hasn't really been tearing it up. And again, worldwide, it's grossed $15,490,000. $574. But let me tell you some of the good points before I give it my uh, score. Um, look, I've liked Ben Affleck as a director. Argo, I've liked Ben Affleck in certain films, Goodwill Hunting, also in The Accountant, which, by the way, the director of this film directed uh, Warrior and directed The Accountant. Gavin O'Connor, I believe, is his name. And he does a good job. But the thing is, it's a retread story. And the story itself kind of hits a certain limit where there's just not, to me, enough um, significant things going on. I mean, it's pretty predictable. You know that he's got an alcohol problem. There's no real relationship to speak of that he has. He's kind of a loner. Um, and there is a subplot uh, of his son dying of cancer, and you kind of get the feeling that he became an alcoholic because of, understandably, all the pain related to his son having a cancer diagnosis. But again, it just sort of hit a point where I just didn't think the film had enough going on in the writing, which I often say writing is key, to make it a mesmerizing, engaging film. Um, ben Affleck is a seasoned actor. He's a star. I mean, he plays this character kind of in, an, uh, in a way where his energy is sort of a lull energy. And I guess if you're an alcoholic, maybe that's, you know, the way that you can portray this character. And it's certainly not a bad performance. I'm just going to say that this particular... I, I enjoyed The Accountant more, same director, and I enjoyed Warrior more. I just think this story has been told too many times. And unless you're going to mix in to your writing bag of tricks, there's, um, unless you're going to mix in some writing um, kernels of gold, it's not going to really be that original, and it's not going to be that great. So, dude talking about film gives this film a... 7 out of 10. That's right, 7 out of 10. Watch it. It's worth it, but you're not going to be thrilled. The whole chemistry between uh, Jack, played by Ben Affleck, and the team is really interesting. There's some great uh, uh, sequences of shots with the basketball games. But even that, you don't really get a sense that, you know, that's enough as a viewer to really keep you engaged. Again, fine directing job, decent film, like these throwback films, just wasn't blown away. All right, everybody, if you like what you hear and see, subscribe. Peace.